Africa, when I was a finance minister in Nigeria, we, one of the mm -hmm. first things we looked at, like Trevor, was where we, how can we shift resources to make, mm -hmm. to really to those active, to education. Exactly. We increased education budget substantially mm -hmm. and health. But to do it, it had to come from somewhere. Exactly. And to cut infrastructure, you oh. couldn't do, because we were lacking. So I looked at defense. And we decided that, you know, to cut the defense budget by about 25%. So I delivered that news to the president. He accepted it. And um, then what happened was that uh, after the cabinet meeting in which we had looked at the budget, I was summoned to a meeting in the president's uh, mm -hmm. uh, office uh, the next morning after this discussion. And in came, I think there were six ge generals <laughs> <laughs> in full dress uniform. <laughs> and you know, of course I was not warned <laughs> Neither incidentally did the president know who is an ex-general himself, that they were coming in full dress uniform. So I opened the door and I see the Navy chief, the Air Force, the this, <laughs> all lined up in full dress uniform, come to declare that this was totally unacceptable. And as you talk, this image comes to mind. It was a little bit frightening when I opened that door. I hope but, you weren't scared by them. Oh, no, they were very intimidating. <laughs> but, you know, what I'm proud of is that the president stood his ground and I stood my ground in arguing that if we wanted a material difference to begin in this country, we needed to invest in the future, which is the education of our youth, the health of our people, and not in arms. And we won the day.